for that name will be mentioned to those who are worthy of it. For from the light, which is the Christ, and the indestructibility, through the gift of the Spirit the four lights appeared from the divine Ada James. He expected that they might attend him. And the three are will, thought, and life. And the four powers are understanding, grace, perception, and prudence. And grace belongs to the light Ian Armosel, which is the first angel. And there are three other Ians with this Ian grace, truth, and form. And the second light is Oriel, who has been placed over the second Ian. And there are three other Ians with him conception, perception, and memory. And the third light is Dabithai, who has been placed over the third Ian. And there are three other Ians with him understanding, love, and idea. And the fourth Ian was placed over the fourth light Elilith. And there are three other Ians with him perfection, peace, and wisdom. These are the four lights which attend the divine Ada Janes, and these are the twelve Ians which attend the Son of the Mighty One, the Ada Janes, the Christ, through the will and the gift of the Invisible Spirit. And the twelve Ians belong to the Son of the Ada Janes. And all things were established by the will of the Holy Spirit through the Ada Janes. And from the foreknowledge of the perfect mind, through the revelation of the will of the Invisible Spirit and the will of the Ada Janes, the perfect man appeared, the first revelation, and the truth. It is he whom the virginal spirit called Pajera Adamas, and he placed him over the first Ian with the Mighty One, the Ada Janes, the Christ, by the first light Armosel. And with him are his powers. And the Invisible One gave him a spiritual, invincible power. And he spoke and glorified and praised the Invisible Spirit, saying, It is for thy sake that everything has come into being and everything will return to thee. I shall praise and glorify thee and the Ada Janes and the Ians, the Three the Father, the Mother, and the Son, the perfect power. And he placed his son Seth over the second Ian in the presence of the second light Oriel. And in the third Ian the seed of Seth was placed over the third light Davithai. And the souls of the saints were placed there. And in the fourth Ian the souls were placed of those who do not know the Pleroma and who did not repent at once, but who persisted for a while and repented afterwards. They are by the fourth light Elilith. These are creatures which glorify the invisible spirit. And the Sophia of the Epinoia being an Ian, conceived a thought from herself and the conception of the invisible spirit and foreknowledge. She wanted to bring forth a likeness out of herself without the consent of the spirit, dash he had not approved, and without her consort, and without his consideration. And though the person of her maleness had not approved, and she had not found her agreement, and she had thought without the consent of the spirit and the knowledge of her agreement, yet she brought forth. And because of the invincible power which is in her, her thought did not remain idle and something came out of her which was imperfect and different from her appearance, because she had created it without her consort. And it was dissimilar to the likeness of its mother, for it has another form. And when she saw the consequences of her desire, it changed into a form of a lion-faced serpent. And its eyes were like lightning fires which flash. She cast it away from her, outside that place, that no one of the immortal ones might see it, for she had created it in ignorance. And she surrounded it with a luminous cloud, and she placed a throne in the middle of the cloud that no one might see it except the Holy Spirit who is called the Mother of the Living. And she called his name Yaltabaoth. This is the first Archon who took a great power from his mother. And he removed himself from her and moved away from the places in which he was born. He became strong and created for himself other eons with a flame of luminous fire which still exists now. And he joined with his arrogance which is in him and begot authorities for himself. The name of the first one is Atheth whom the generations called the Reaper. The second one is Harmas, who is the Eye of Envy. The third one is Kalila Umbri. The fourth one is Yabo. The fifth one is Adonao, who is called Sabiath. The sixth one is Cain, whom the generations of men called the Sun. The seventh is Abel. The eighth is Abrisin. The ninth is Yobel. The tenth is Armupil. The eleventh is Melsir Adonain. The twelfth is Belias. It is he who is over the depth of Hades. And he placed seven kings, each corresponding to the firmaments of heaven, over the seven heavens, and five over the depth of the abyss, that they may reign. And he shared his fire with them, but he did not send forth from the power of the light which he had taken from his mother, for he is ignorant darkness. And when the light had mixed with the darkness, it caused the darkness to shine. And when the darkness had mixed with the light, it darkened the light and it became neither light nor dark, but it became dim. Now the Archon who is weak has three names. The first name is Yaltabaoth, the second is Saklus, and the third is Samael, and he is impious in his arrogance which is in him. For he said, 
I am God and there is no other God beside me, for he is ignorant of his strength, the place from which he had come. And the archons created seven powers for themselves, and the powers created for themselves six angels for each one until they became 365 angels. And these are the bodies belonging with the names the first is Atheth, and he has a sheep's face. The second is Eloio, he has a donkey's face. The third is Astaphos, he has a hyena's face. The fourth is Yao, he has a serpent's face with seven heads. The fifth is Sabioth, he has a dragon's face. The sixth is Adonin, he had a monkey's face. The seventh is Sabad, he has a shining fire face. This is a sevenness of the week. But Yaltbeoth had a multitude of faces, more than all of them, so that he could put a face before all of them, according to his desire, when he is in the midst of seraphs. He shared his fire with them. Therefore he became lord over them. Because of the power of the glory he possessed of his mother's light, he called himself God. And he did not obey the place from which he came. And he united the seven powers in his thought with the authorities which were with him. And when he spoke it happened. And he named each power beginning with the highest the first is goodness with the first authority, Atheth. The second is foreknowledge with the second one, Eloio. And the third is divinity with the third one, Astrophalo. The fourth is lordship with the fourth one, Yao. The fifth is kingdom with the fifth one, Sabioth. The sixth is envy with the sixth one, Adonai. The seventh is understanding with the seventh one, Sabatin. And these have a firmament corresponding to each e in heaven. They were given names according to the glory which belongs to heaven for the destruction of the powers. And in the names which were given to them by their originator there was power. But the names which were given them according to the glory which belongs to heaven mean for them destruction and powerlessness. Thus they have two names. And having created everything, he organized according to the model of the first eons which had come into being, so that he might create them like the indestructible ones. Not because he had seen the indestructible ones, but the power in him, which he had taken from his mother, produced in him the likeness of the cosmos. And when he saw the creation which surrounds him, and the multitude of the angels around him which had come forth from him, he said to them, I am a jealous God, and there is no other God beside me. But by announcing this he indicated to the angels who attended him that there exists another God. For if there were no other one, of whom would he be jealous? Then the mother began to move to and fro. She became aware of the deficiency when the brightness of her light diminished. And she became dark because her consort had not agreed with her. And I said, Lord, what does it mean that she moved to and fro? But he smiled and said, Do not think it is, as Moses said, above the waters. No, but when she had seen the wickedness which had happened, and the theft which her son had committed, she repented. And she was overcome by forgetfulness in the darkness of ignorance and she began to be ashamed. And she did not dare to return, but she was moving about. And the moving is the going to and fro. And the arrogant one took a power from his mother. For he was ignorant, thinking that there existed no other except his mother alone. And when he saw the multitude of the angels which he had created, then he exalted himself above them. And when the mother recognized that the garment of darkness was imperfect, then she knew that her consort had not agreed with her. She repented with much weeping. And the whole Pleroma heard the prayer of her repentance, and they praised on her behalf the invisible, virginal spirit. And he consented. And when the invisible spirit had consented, the Holy Spirit poured over her from their whole Pleroma. For it was not her consort who came to her, but he came to her through the Pleroma in order that he might correct her deficiency.